So, I just flipped the video off, and then the light popped on, and the stereo popped on, and the laptop started charging. But, this breaker's still not on, so if this is controlling everything else, what the hell is this one? Because I went and checked the outside lines, and the water tape, and everything's on. So, everything in here is on, then what the hell is this guy? I, I don't know what the hell that controls. I thought everything would be on that one, because it's the big one, you know? Oh. So every single plug is on, so what is that one? Oh, and an addendum. This thing is badass. I know it's old school technology, but <laughs> that thing last night got down into the teens, and when I walked in the door, just having this guy on, it was still 66 inside my cab. My RV's old, it doesn't really have insulation. One of the things I'm going to fix is I'm going to get fix is I'm going to get some insole foam um, and try to get something in the walls to help insulate this a little more. But with no furnace, no nothing like that, that thing is keeping this entire rig warm. It's amazing. So we got some snow. Oh, good news. Uh, talked to the camping HR rep here, and he let me know that I've been extended till the end of January, so I'll be employed for another month. Um, and then we'll see what from there, because I guess there's some other stuff in the works, and he couldn't give me any details, which, you know, that's fine. I'll deal with it when he gets there. It's just nice to know that I'll have another pay I'll still have a paycheck coming, and if you're here in future peak seasons, <clears throat> or any other Amazon, because it should all work the same in all of them. You'll, I'll receive my bonus like normal. So once my first term is up, the one that I signed up for that ends on December 23rd, my bonus will come in like normal, but I'll just resume work um, and uh, basically work until my other term's up. Now there's no bonus for the next term. So I've probably got one week left. <clears throat> My body is definitely starting to feel... I mean, we're going on six weeks of overtimes. Uh, and even if I have a day off, it's not like having a day off because I still have to rush around getting everything done. I would normally get done during the week. In a lot of ways, my body is starting to feel like the end of the, like that last week of basic training. If anybody's been through basic training, where you're, well, maybe this wasn't the case for everybody else, but like at the end of basic training, like um, my hands and my feet started to feel like they couldn't work anymore. Like my hands go numb, even while I'm laying in bed. Like if I turn a certain way, I guess the blood flow. My heart is just like fuck, dude. So it's like my hands go numb, <laughs> my feet go numb, and I can, I can tell that I'm just, <clears throat> I'm hitting the end of that drive. And I, a lot of it's my fault. I mean, I could tone my work back and not just completely bust my ass. Like last night, um, I worked in an area called Satellites, and I was what was called the water spider, which means means I topped off everybody's water for water tapers um, at Amazon to tape the boxes closed they use a type of tape that requires water so it comes out of this tape machine whatever so I fill up those water things I restock boxes and then they were like oh hey do you mind clearing off the totes the totes are what the items come in and eventually there's no items as you're packing them so you put the tote empty tote out there somebody collects it unless somebody was me and then they were like, oh, hey, uh, do you mind going and grab pallets of full totes? Well, the pallets were all the way down the way, and I had to get this, help this dude uh, who was grabbing the pallets. 
of full totes, pulling them off this line and then walking them over, and then to filling up boxes, checking water, and then clearing off some totes, then going back and getting some more boxes. And then I saw that a, a water spider in a different area in singles wasn't going to get a chance to top off his pallets of boxes. And the pallet of boxes is what we use to restock the stations. And I didn't want to screw day shift. So on top of doing that, I ended up getting three pallets of boxes for him. And then I saw that there was three pallets of boxes that need to be got for Chris Plant, which is where they pack multiple items in a box. So I did that. And it was just like, by the end of it, I was trying to figure out what the hell anybody else was doing because I, I felt like I was doing everybody else's job. I don't know what the fuck happened. This, to me, is still one of the more unfortunate parts of having been here for a while. I was so excited to check out this theater. It's an older theater. It looked very Art Deco. But it's been closed since I got here. And, uh, you know, I've heard a lot of back and forth on what the ultimate goal is, what the people who actually want it are trying to do with it, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. It didn't really matter in the end because it's not open. <laughs> so I'm leaving today. It's the 21st uh, to drive back to St. Louis and visit friends and family for Christmas. And so I'm letting people know, hey, I'm, I'm rolling out, whatever, hitting the road. They know the conditions here. It's icy, all, all this other stuff. There's a big ice storm that came through. Um, so now I'm getting texts. Well, be careful. Okay, yes, I am. You know, I'm, I appreciate the response text. But then when I don't respond, they're like, Nathan, are you there? Well, hey, I just said I'm leaving now. I'm driving. So, <laughs> if I'm driving and you want me to be safe, why would I be texting you back? Especially if you know that the roads are icy and you're telling me to drive safe. You're not helping. I went to White Castle to grab something to eat because I haven't been there since I've been in Kansas. I accidentally ordered basically everything on the menu. I'm going to see if I can eat it all. Fuck it. Those old school lights are, they feel so much warmer, not just literally, but visually than the LEDs that everybody uses now. Alright, so I got hooked up. One of the previous videos I had talked about the Ouya, and uh, I got one now. Um, this is the one that's an open source video game console that you can des it actually has the dev packs on it so you can plug it into your computer and design games so oh, what you see on the cover here is actually how small it is the controller is bigger than the actual system and the system itself is a it's a pretty beefy it's essentially as powerful as some of the more powerful smartphones but it doesn't have to manage like 
doesn't have to manage like battery power and shit like that. So this is it. And uh, what can I Paul, get you for Christmas? Don't tell him what you want. He's a liar. Let the kid talk. You disgust me. How can you live with yourself? Just cool it, Zippy. You sit on a throne of lies.